Hi, I'm Laura Mori from the Brigham and Women's Hospital and Harvard Medical School in Boston. And it's my pleasure to talk to you today about the results of the DAPT study, that's the dual antiplatelet therapy study that was presented here at the American Heart Sessions. This was a trial uh, that was designed in order to better understand how long patients who receive coronary stents should be treated with thionapyridine therapy plus aspirin. As many of you know, uh, it's so critically important for our patients to take thionapyridines plus aspirin after they receive coronary stents, and they also uh, benefit um, in the setting of patients who've had heart attacks uh, to prevent them from having recurrent heart attacks in the future. But what we didn't know was whether that benefit would carry on beyond 12 months. And therefore, we conducted a study that was really requested by the FDA to better understand um, how patients with coronary stents should be treated. This was a unique study in that it was a public and private partnership that was conducted with the FDA and eight uh, funding manufacturers of stents and drugs, together with the Harvard Clinical Research Institute. It was an international study, uh, multi-center, conducted worldwide um, in 11 different countries and at 450 sites. And we had um, very enthusiastic enrollment across the world. Uh, we were able to enroll 26,000 subjects and met the required sample size in order to um, compare rates of stent thrombosis, which was uh, one of the primary endpoints, and the co-primary endpoint of major adverse cardiac and cerebrovascular events, which was death, MI, or stroke. It was important in the design that we incorporate both a stent-related outcome as well as important clinical outcomes. Uh, so we en enrolled 26,000 subjects, and of the drug-looting stents-treated subjects, we randomized almost 10,000 patients. Um, and in follow-up of these patients, up through the 30-month time point, which was the primary analysis um, period, patients were treated with either thionapyridine and aspirin or um, aspirin alone. The drugs that were used were clopidogrel or prasugrel, and the, uh, the operator could have any stent selected. What we found in doing the, the primary treatment comparison was that there was a 71% relative risk reduction in stent thrombosis, a hazard ratio of 0.29 that was highly significant. Um, in addition to that, on the uh, second major um, adverse cardiac and cerebrovascular events endpoint, we also found a significant risk reduction. Uh, this, in this case, it was a 0.71 um, hazard ratio. That is a 29% risk reduction. And uh, this was mainly driven by a reduction in myocardial infarction. There was a 50% risk reduction in recurrent MIs um, over the course of the uh, analysis period. What was really fascinating about the results were that uh, this was a finding that wasn't just specific to a stents. Uh, we found that uh, myocardial infarction happening outside of the stent was actually a very important endpoint and comprised 55% of the treatment benefit that we saw in reduction in myocardial infarction. So although this began as a trial to look at stents, it really is a trial of secondary prevention as well. Um, we looked across multiple subgroups of, to be able to understand whether this was something that was more beneficial for some patients than others or applied to certain treatments more than others. And really uh, what was striking was that there were consistent benefits in terms of stent thrombosis regardless of most of the clinical characteristics and regardless of what types of drugs or stents were used. Um, and similarly for myocardial infarction, this was true. Um, so taken together, um, this would indicate that there are ischemic benefits to continuing these therapies for longer. On the other side, we did look very seriously at the risks of therapy, which include uh, bleeding um, as being the primary risk. This was known from prior trials. We did see an increased risk of bleeding, uh, but most of the bleeding events were not severe or fatal. There was an unexpected finding of a small difference in non-cardiovascular deaths, um, and in review of meta-analysis of multiple trials um, uh, that have been randomized with over 130,000 patient years of experience, this seemed to be an outlier um, in comparison to uh, previous studies. So taken together, the results of the DAPT study um, show that in patients who can tolerate one year of therapy, that there's a benefit in terms of reducing the risk of recurrent heart attack um, going forward by continuing thionapyridine therapy plus aspirin. And that this was consistent across 
high-risk and low-risk patients, older and newer stents, and the different drugs that we studied. This needs to be taken hand-in-hand -hand with the known risks of antiplatelet therapy, uh, which are bleeding. Uh, so in patients who have done well for the first year and don't have significant bleeding, we need to think about whether they should continue, not just to protect uh, the stent, but more importantly, over the long run, to prevent further heart attacks. Thank you.